Hey, it's Darlene, and today I'm making a card. This is a triangle fold card, and it is basically a triangle that you're folding on the side. So I decided to do my little triangle fold on the left side, um, but you can also do it on the right. So I used that template that I created, and I'll have the measurements down below, and also on my blog, I'll have more uh, measurements and information, and that will also be down below. But basically, you score the lines using the template, and once you score them, and you really want to push hard because you want that score line to go through both sides but I did open it up or excuse me close it up turn it around and fold again or do the score line again on the the back side and but you use that same template to cut the pattern paper that you'll be using to decorate the card front and the card inside so the card panels are cut down at two five and a quarter by four so um, that why that's why when you cut the template off or the triangle off with using the template it still does fit on there and more um, so you still have the card base as a mat I hope that makes sense but anyhow those are just scraps that I'm using from my scrap pile and there was enough there to create um, both the front and back not back front and inside panel um, because it was double-sided which worked out really well and um, if you notice there was a piece already missing from the scrap but because I was cutting off that triangle it just worked out perfectly so what's left of the triangle that I cut off I am able to trim it down a half inch more on the side and then attach it inside on this little triangle um, area which you see me doing right now and if I would have um, the triangle piece, <laughs> let, me, let me see how to say this. The triangle piece that was left over from this, that kind of wavy scalloped edge, you know, was a wonky piece because remember there was a piece missing. So I wasn't able to reuse that, but no big deal. Um, but uh, once I stamped the sentiment, I'm pretty happy with how it turns out. Not, I'm not always with my first impression, but there you go. I probably should have waited half a second more because when I cut that and trim it down and after I mat it, I realized, look at I've got a uh, mistake, <laughs> but that's okay. We're going to cover it up with some bling. Um, so I mat that with the same pink cardstock and I'm using a sketch from Sketch and Scrap, which I'll have their link down below as well. They have card sketches and also scrapbook layout sketches. But I'm using a sketch there, and it shows that we need to have a strip of paper, um, you know, on that left-hand side. So I just dipped into my scrap pile again, grabbed this dark, bright pink. Yes, just used my bone folder to score the line where I needed to cut it. Now, I could have measured and did all that, but I wasn't too concerned about that, and it worked out perfect. So once I adhere the um, sentiment down, now I'm going through my little binder ring full of bling <laughs> binder ring full of bling um, I do that with my queen and company um, pearls and bling and all this fun stuff but it's a really easy way for me to flip through I have them in color order so that's a good uh, storage tip if that's something you are interested in doing or need um, I already stamped out the gifts and let that settle for a while, which is really important when you're using alcohol markers. Um, I did use a black Versamark, um, not Versamark, oh my goodness, I can't even think. But the type of ink that is used or recommended for using with alcohol markers. And I've said it many a times, I could not do it. <laughs> A teaching video on coloring because I am very basic but I just basically pull two um, shades of the similar color so the two pinks two aquas and two blues basically did a lighter one all the way around and then used the darker color to do a little bit of shading and the shading I just did a little bit on that right side and a little bit on the top and um, it looks super cute and that is one thing I recommend no matter what kind of markers you're using whether it's you know your regular markers I mean even crayons just to do a darker color and do a little bit of shading it makes such a world of difference so um it's just a good tip as well um and just look at that little simple coloring really makes a huge difference and you know, again, if I would have just did the one solid color, it probably would have been fine for what I was doing. But, you know, it doesn't take a lot more effort to um, 
to put a little shading. So then I grabbed this white uh, pen and I'm just adding additional dots and I do this on all three of them. But I think it just adds a little bit of fun and that's that's um, super cute. So I cut each one out individually so I can fussy cut. Makes it a little bit easier to fussy cut when you have a smaller area to cut through. And basically I just turn the paper as I'm needing to turn versus turning the scissors. And that just makes it a little bit easier on your hand as well. So done with the presents now I'm going to put them on the cart <clears throat> so you see there I have this graph paper and um, it has guides to what the entire card would look like if it was a normal card so you want to make sure that when you add your little pop-up elements or these little elements that they stay within the size of the card and the reason why you want to do that is first it helps it folds correctly and also um, it'll fit in the envelope so anyhow if you don't have you know the graph paper like I have there you could just kind of eyeball where the card um, you know the top and the side of the card um, ends and keep it within that so I basically do the same thing with the inside just put a little present in there and that's it for the card isn't that super cute I'm so glad that I did a fun fold for it it could have just been a really simple card but um, I think it just adds a little bit when you have a little fun element like that I hope you agree. And if you do, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I do two videos a week. One will always be scrapbooking, and the other one is whatever I'm doing in the command center, which is the name of my blog and also my craft room. But I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Bye.